Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be showing you guys the best and fastest way to get through conquest maps in MLB The Show 24. But first, I need you guys to do me a favor and smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you got those notifications on. And don't forget to catch me for the live stream this morning at 10 a.m. Central. We'll be actually playing through conquest. You guys can join me. And if you got any questions about today's video, Join me for that live stream. We'll be playing through this conquest maps and uh, and getting a little bit done. So I'll, I'll answer any of your questions that you have and explain it. Sometimes conquest can be a little overwhelming and confusing. So we're gonna break it down though for you right here. All right. First, before we get to the conquest maps, I need you guys to do me a favor and check out our awesome sponsor. In 2022, Americans lost 10.3 billion dollars to online crime, far outpacing home burglary crimes. I don't want any of that to ever happen to you guys. Help me in welcoming back to our channel for the third straight year, Aura. Aura is the absolute best in internet protection, VPN, fraud monitoring, and antivirus software there is available for you out there on the internet. I want you guys to be safe. You can help protect your credit scores. You can actually even help with the Aura app. You can help monitor online your kids and your entire family to make sure that they are safe as well because that's what we all want right we want safe and we want protection for all of our family members or is where you guys are going to get it make sure to check out the link below for your 14 day free trial of aura today why not it's free all right you guys so don't forget to check out that link down below there for aura all right here we are inside of conquest now you're in single player modes you go over to conquest and we'll find three of these maps right at the very top here batter up one batter up two and batter up three okay now after i explain how we're gonna play conquest and how it actually works i recommend that you guys go in if you're new to conquest and not quite familiar with it even if you are and need the refresher haven't played maybe conquest in a little while or maybe you only do it once or twice a year and you don't do all the maps go in and play these there's some free stuff that you'll earn in them and it's going to actually teach you what i am teaching you but maybe in a different wording all right so maybe if it doesn't click the way i'm saying it maybe it'll click the way they're saying it or both combined will help you understand it a little better all right so batter up one start with that one batter up two and then batter up three those are going to explain to you all of the phases the, the acquire fans the reinforced territories the conquer occupied spaces the steel fans and capture strongholds and how you're going to tackle turn-based missions when you approach those sometimes in your conquest maps. All right, now most of your conquest maps are gonna be pretty basic. Uh, we're gonna go actually take a look at the USA map here at first because it's the big one that everybody likes to take a look at and uh, see exactly how we're gonna tackle this. When I do this one first, what I like to do is I like to take over the West Coast of the United States before I take over the East Coast. There's a simple reason for that and why. There are a lot of empty hexes over here on this left side, okay? Every three hexes that you actually take over and make as one of your own gives you one extra reinforcement when you go to that phase or that stage of conquest, okay? So every three is going to give you one more. Since there's more empty ones over here, at the beginning, you can move over here and take all of these empty ones, giving yourself further reinforcements once you start moving over here towards the central and the eastern part of the United States. So that for me is why that is the best and fastest way to move around. Now, a lot of people get confused about conquest and think that you have to play a ton of games. There's really not a ton of games to play in here, okay? The only exception for why you would have to play more than 30 games in this, hey, if, if you lose one, that's that's gonna be why, okay? But uh, you can get it to 30 games. Now, if there's any Steel Fans missions in here, uh, it doesn't look like I'm not seeing any so far. These are just acquire and conquer territories. No Steel Fans missions, so nothing specific to that, which is good. That means you don't actually have to play any extra games in this one if there's no Steel Fans games. If you can manage to win all 30 of these games, you can probably play every single one of them on road. Rookie. Something to keep in mind is that these marks that they all have here, these are called their strongholds. If you have four times more than they have in that stronghold, you'll be able to play the game on rookie. So if they've got 13 in this, you're actually wanting to have, what is that? 52 is four times that. If you had 52, you'd be able to play this game on rookie. So any times you can get four times that, you'll get it on rookie. If it's three times that, I believe you're going to get it on veteran. If it's twice that, you'll get it on all-star. 
and so on and so forth. All right, so if you wanna get the, the uh, difficulties down to those levels, that's what you'll do. Now, as I like to move, like I said first, the first thing we're gonna do is kind of give ourselves a little bit of a stronghold around this little station that they get a, give us to start, all right? So we're technically the 31st team on the map, right? So we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of a base to get started here. I didn't mean to move out to the side there, but it's okay, it doesn't really matter. Kind of just fill in all of these hexes around so that nobody can get to us. Now, they will never move their spots if they have two or fewer towards you, all right? I've never seen that happen in the past where if they only have two in one hex that they'll actually move, they've got to have three or more. So don't worry about them making any moves with those. And don't worry if they take your strongholds over. It's not going to happen very often. Just make sure that you kind of keep them reinforced with at least one around all of their spots at any times. So that's kind of a good way to keep them reinforced. That's all I ever do. I don't ever put more than one in these spots and I just take one hex and move around the map with it now we've approached and come to the steel fans portion of the of the game here there is no uh mission for stealing fans so i'm not going to do it so we're just going to hit the pause button and we go skip to reinforce so when we get to the reinforce phase it's going to pop that up here because it's the first time we're playing through it we're going to click on this one right here we're going to reinforce that with our four million fans and then we go to the move phase now we're going to take over we don't need to move any we're actually just going to move from here so if i wanted to take them and maybe start and take those five and position them over here you can move one time each turn so if you want to take like two and move them here and three and move them here you couldn't do that you'd have to move a certain number to one spot and then the next turn you'd be able to move a certain number yeah so you can't move more than more than twice more than once on each turn so uh, i don't need to move them though we don't need them we're actually going to take these spots right up here so we're just going to skip again to the attack phase by hitting pause we're going to go up here up top we'll take that spot now we want to take at least four or at least three spots so we get one more hex added to our reinforcements, right? That's what we were telling you about. So we're going to do this. I'll show you guys kind of how we get started. I'm not going to do a, a, a steel fans again. We're just going to reinforce. There we go. We got an extra one. Don't need to move them. We'll skip to attack again. We're going to keep moving around here. And then we're going to do this until we fill in all of these gaps over here on this. Now, any of these maps are really going to start the same way. You're going to find the easiest path to reinforce around where you start. And then you're going to branch out to an empty spot to find empty hexes and fill those in to get more reinforcements for you. That's how all of the maps in Conquest will work. Once you do that, you'll start simulating the games in all the hexes that you face. So we're going to skip ahead. We're, we're going to pretend we skipped ahead right here. So if I want to get down to the Rockies and play the Rockies, we're going to take this hex right here, but you don't have to actually play the game, right? You don't have to play it. You can simulate it. Just always simulate these. Never play these games. You're going to lose it sometimes. Sometimes you'll lose. We won that one. Uh, and the more fans you have, obviously, the more likely you are to win the game. Uh, but you'll end up doing that when you have more reinforcements in there to be able to move up here next to the Rockies. And then when you're next to them, where I said you need to have four times what they have in their spot. So right now they only have seven. All right. So if you can get this reinforcement spot right here, uh, and we'll kind of show you here. Let's go to reinforce. Let's actually move this right there. Okay. We're going to skip to attack. We're going to go right here. We're just going to hold in this spot right here because I want to show you guys how the difficulty changes as we as we go throughout it. Okay, so right now, if we played them, it will be on Hall of Fame difficulty. All right, so we got to get we've got to get this a little bit better. All right, we got to turn it over. So we went ahead and skipped to the next phase. There we go. Skip to to reinforce. We'll reinforce it. This might still be on Hall of Fame. I'm not positive here on this one. Let's see. Nope, we got it to all star right there. All right, see, we got it to all star. So as you add more to it, it's going to go down. So if you want to get it on a lower difficulty again, you're just going to reinforce again. We'll wait. Wait for let these other teams move around. Ideally, we want to take these empty hexes. We can start this map over. So I'll be starting it over tomorrow when we do it on the live stream. I've got to let all these guys move, 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 move through here. There we go. There they go. They moved. All right, we'll get to the reinforce phase. There we go. We'll move right there. Put some more on it. And then let's say I want to play on veteran difficulty. There we go. We got another veteran difficulty. If we want to do it one more time, reinforce again, you can get it over to rookie. So that's how you guys are going to get them to those difficulties that you want. Make it easy for yourself to breeze through this. There's lots of great rewards in Conquest play them it's free stuff free stubs free packs free cards free stuff i mean who doesn't love free stuff right we all love free stuff in the game so make sure to do that if you guys got any questions going through this like i said go through it's real simple it's simple i, I know it maybe sounds like an easy breakdown but it actually is a lot simpler than it looks it can be overwhelming looking but after you watch this video go back out here and to do the batter up uh one two and three do those here and that'll help you 
uh, and you'll you'll learn a little bit easier on each step, each individual step. So when you do approach those ones where there's turn-based missions and conquest maps, you'll be able to complete those easier. And then join me for the live stream, 10 a.m. Central, right here on YouTube, right here on the channel. You guys can catch me if you got any questions and we'll be playing through Maybe this conquest map, maybe these three conquest maps. I'm not sure which ones we're going to do here today, but we're going to be playing conquest for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it helps you out. Do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for me. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you got those notifications on. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody. Peace.